What is up, everybody? My name is Billy. Thank you so much for tuning in. If this is your first time, definitely hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss anything new. And as always, please follow me on Instagram. It is where I post all of my content. We're making a Pokeball in this video, and it's super easy to do. Um, I am making this kind of as a Christmas tree ornament. First thing I did is I sprayed it with some all-natural cleaning spray just to get any dirt or fibers off there so it allows the paint to stick better. Going in with some white Liquitex to give this little plastic ball uh, some kind of I can't talk to give this some kind of base so that I can actually apply the color and so the color is actually vibrant. And by the way little painters hack if you want to avoid kind of making a mess you can put a big sheet of tin foil underneath what you're working on. It works so good because you can use it kind of as a paint palette and you can spill stuff and it doesn't penetrate obviously. So this little plastic ornament was given to me. You can get it pretty much at I think any craft shop. Um, but I just went ahead and went over that with one base of white. And another reason I did that is because I like to sketch before I actually paint and having that coat of white allows me to see my pencil. But in this video, I'm using Posca pens to outline in black. Pretty much for all the colors that I'm using are Posca pens, which are just acrylic paint pens. So imagine like a normal marker, but it's paint that comes out of it. These are universally great paint pens, and the acrylic is actually really good quality. I would suggest these to anybody if you like to paint, whether you like to do like arts and crafts, you like to draw on things, you like to customize things. Yeah, definitely great. There, as you can see, I just took a red Posca pen and I tried my best to color the top end as straight as I could. I'm not being too critical now because I know because the markers are opaque and I know that because I'm going to finish it off with glitter, I definitely, I can definitely make some adjustments and fine tune it. Now I'm taking that white Posca pen and I'm just doing the bottom, doing the same thing I did with the red not trying to be too self-critical right now because I know again I could just fix it in a little bit um, but there it is there's the paint process just about finished now I'm taking some tacky glue and some q-tips and pretty much just gonna paint this tacky glue on it and then you know start with the glitter I was noticing tiny tiny imperfection as I was coloring so I really wanted to switch it up and do glitter because Glitter is really cool because it allows for like softer edges, I guess, and doesn't give it like a sharp, jagged look. So going in with all the matching colors, the red, the black, um, and I'm actually using a um, camera cleaner to blow off the little excess glitter particles there just hanging out. But you can get all these things at your local craft store, you know, the little plastic ornament, um, the glitter, of course, the tacky glue and maybe some paint brushes or some q-tips to kind of brush it on yeah so you know as you saw we just started out with the white base coat we went ahead sketched it on to make it look like a pokeball we painted the colors the best we could and now we're just going over it with some tacky glue and adding that final touch with the glitter it's super simple um you know and i know you guys are super creative so you can make one probably way cooler than mine like maybe change up the colors i don't know Shout out to my girlfriend for helping me out there. I uh, got some red in the glue and I couldn't get it out and she was right there to save the day. So thank you, thank you. And trust me y'all with that tinfoil trick. I didn't know, but I made an absolute mess. Like, like a F5 tornado done jumped across my desk. I don't know why when I'm using glitter and acrylic paints, uh, I'm just a little demon. But here you go, there you have it. There is the Pokeball. <laughs> made with, you know, acrylic Posca pens, glitter, and time and love. There it is. Pretty proud of that. Not proud of that goddamn mess. But proud of the Pokeball. That's going up right up on my tree for the holidays. Um, but happy holidays to you all. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe. Like it if you like it. Dislike it if you disliked it. And uh, peace. Peace.